Welcome back to the Intercom tutorial series. This is part seven. In this part, we're going to talk about adding custom um, user data attributes to your users. And here is the syntax for how we're going to go about it. We're going to first go to our setup guide over here. And we want to go to get using Intercom. I'm trying to see here. Uh, what we need to do, like your teammates, send an auto message. So you click on this thing here, which is your your user settings. You click on your avatar, and then you click settings, app settings, app settings, messenger settings, people segments, people data. We're gonna go to people data. We're going to filter by. We're gonna create new data. We want to say over here, the name is Upgrade Request. So let's say someone clicks on the Upgrade button on the app. This name could appear in conversations with customers if you ask. Optional description, Upgrade. Okay, That's okay, we don't really need that, but okay. Upgrade Request, the format is text. The format is true or false, okay? Uh, should put two S's there, that's important. And this is the key, control C and save. Okay, it's gonna be true or false. And awesome, your attribute has been created. Start sending data to Intercom by adding it to your code. Okay, so we're gonna add it to our code. That's relatively simple. We would put it over here within our code. Um, this is not exactly how we're gonna do it currently, but we may. First, we're going to just go into the social app, and here we are. Okay, we're going to load it here. This is the syntax, by the way. I can load this syntax down below as well. If you're using, um, oh, crap. This is if, specifically if you're using just a regular, um, a, reg a regular JavaScript code within your app. You have to look up the syntax, but this is the, the basis of it, okay? Um, we have an intercom settings a a object, and instead of writing new campaign clicks, this data attribute we know is upgrade event. Okay, so upgrade event is true, and then we click update. Okay, and that's pretty much it, I believe. I'm not sure if we need this thing over here. So, and intercom update. Uh, I don't think we need that as well. Done. Uh, cannot set property upgrade request of undefined. Ah, oh, crap. Okay, so we need to go into our app and try to figure out how to do this. Um, var no user. Well, here's the intercom object. That I do know that it, the intercom object is there. Here's the intercom object. Let's try to do it there. Control B. Custom data equals upgrade requests. No. I'm going to take this. Control C. Over here. There you guys. Control V. Wintercom. Sorry. Window.intercom settings. Want dollar intercom. Is that what I want? Dollar intercom. Dollar intercom dot upgrade request equals true. Let's see if that works. And we're going to reload this. <sighs> Crap. Something broke. This did not work. Window dot intercom settings. Let's try it over there. Ah, control shift Z. Dollar intercom dot upgrade. Now that we have something here, this is the intercom dot boot new user. Let's try that. Ah, crap. Dollar intercom is not defined. Okay, we'll figure this out in another video.